Hi guys, it's Katie. I have my grocery haul here. Today I went to H Mart. I spent just under $40. I will start with my meal plan because it will make more sense if you know what I'm making this week. Uh, last week or last night, my family just ate leftovers. I had a giant smoothie. Um, for the rest of the week, I want to make Hawaiian meatloaf. That's a old recipe from a vintage cookbook that my mom has. I want to film it so that I can put it here on YouTube because I can't really share that recipe. It's um, you know, in an old book, it's not online anywhere, so it's really yummy. I love it, so hopefully I'll be able to film that. We'll also have chi uh, jerk chicken and coconut rice, breakfast burritos and fruit, spaghetti and meatballs with salad. Um, bibimbap is Korean rice and vegetables and meat all mixed together. Um, it is amazing. I have eaten it at Korean restaurants a lot. I've never made it myself. I've always wanted to, but there's kind of a lot of parts to it, so kind of intimidated me, but... Mingchi just posted a video recipe on how to make it, so I want to try it. Um, white chicken chili, and then the peanut soba bowl, that is a vegan recipe or a meatless recipe. Um, I, I, it's a constant struggle finding a meatless meal that kind of passes <laughs> in my family. So I like to try new things, but um, I would like to eat meatless at least once a week, and sometimes it's just... A struggle so we'll try that one it looked pretty good I can um, link the recipe down below but I'll show you what I got I got some coconut water I like this for smoothies and just drinking I got some cooking onions I also got some sweet onions this 10 pound bag was only three dollars so um, I love sweet onions in the summertime for salads and like macaroni salad things like that I got a cantaloupe I got soba noodles Broccoli and the red bell peppers will be for that soba bowl. Also, some Hi. of the scallions will Hi. go in that. Hi. 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 Um, this back here is all for the bibimbap. So, some of the scallions. I got this gochujang. I have some of this, but I wanted to make sure I had plenty. This is kind of iconic for bibimbap. I got enoki mushrooms. It's not in Mang Chi's recipe, but I love them, so I'm going to add those. Got spinach, some soybean sprouts. I got these, which I've tasted these, but I've never cooked with them. They're, this package says Bracken, Bracken. Uh, Ming Chi called them Fern Break, and they're, I don't exactly know, I guess they're ferns, so they're dried, and you have to kind of rehydrate them and cook them. So I'm excited to try that new ingredient. And then I got this small piece of meat. I'm not sure I'll, I'll use all of this. I might divide it that way. I can keep some in the freezer for next time I want to make bibimbap, because I will have lots of certain ingredients so it'll be easy to make again next time um, so I'm just gonna season this I was gonna get they have like seasoned bulgogi meat that you can buy there but it's kind of a large portion and um, I you just need a little bit of meat since there's so much other stuff going on so we'll go ahead and just season this myself uh, I think she just put garlic and sesame oil in it so pretty simple um, bananas and then the last thing I got is lettuce so I hope you enjoyed the grocery haul. You can leave any comments down below. Again, I will try to link recipes down below so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'll see you guys next Friday at noon for my next grocery haul. Bye.